So not sure if you know this, Peter, but in recent years, the raw food or raw meat-based pet diet has become a popular trend. And this trend exists in both dogs and cats. And in part, it is influenced by books such as one called the Paleo Pet Handbook. And many pet owners believe these raw meat diets are healthier for their animal. This is from Veterinary Practice News, a new study by... Utrecht University scientists, published in British veterinary journal Vet Record, found that raw meat-based diets for pets places owners at risk of serious disease. The study, which analyzed 35 raw meat-based diets from eight brands, revealed that 86% of these sampled products carry potentially deadly pathogens, while salmonella was detected on 20%, and there was various other parasites as well. According to the scientists, pets who are fed these raw meat diets can pass on these bugs to humans through direct contact, like licking or brushing up against them. Researchers wrote that pathogens also can be transferred through direct contact with the food, through contact with a contaminated pet, such as sharing the same bed and allowing licking of the face and hands, through contact with household surfaces, or by ingesting cross-contaminated human food. These raw meat-based diets include raw, dried dog and cat treats such as pig ears, home-prepared meats based from food sold for human consumption, and commercial raw meats marketed for pets. Researchers believe there's no evidence for any benefit of raw meat-based diets compared to the mainstream dry and canned pet foods, and that raw meat-based diets may even be less nutritious. According to the Utrecht study, quote, in nutritional terms, these diets are often deficient in several nutrients and may therefore lead to serious health problems, especially in young animals that are growing. In addition, researchers found pets who are fed these raw diets are more likely to become infected with antibiotic resistant bacteria than pets on conventional diets. Researchers said, quote, the presence of antibiotic resistant bacteria in raw meat based diets could therefore pose a serious risk risk to both animal health and public health, not only because infections with these bacteria are difficult to treat, but also because of the potential of it contributing to a more widespread occurrence of such bacteria. It's important to encourage awareness of the possible risks associated with feeding raw meat-based diets to companion animals, and pet owners should be educated about personal hygiene and proper handling of raw meat-based diets, the study said, adding that education from veterinarians is a vital component. Sounds like a bad idea to me, Lori. Yep, does. Yeah.